Hello and welcome to my video demonstration of my React app, which I built as part of the uh, Flatiron School uh, web developer program. And I'm just going to do a quick run through of how my app works. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail of how uh, the code is written and all that. Um, you can you can check that out in the GitHub, which I'll link in the video description below. Um, but this app is basically the premise of this app is uh, it provides you with cocktail recipes based off of what you have at your in your home bar so you can input and select what you have in your home bar and then it will uh, show you recipes that you can uh, make right away um, aside from any small things like uh, oranges or like lemons or uh, like apple juice or orange juice or whatever so that's the premise of it uh, it was built with a rails uh, API backend that provides data as well as uh, provides a place to store data in the database and the front end was built with you know the basic HTML, JavaScript, all that stuff, but it uses React and Redux. So without further ado, let us get into the demonstration. All right, so this is the landing page, the front page. Cocktail, find recipes based off your home bar. This little uh, logo here I found online, and it's a giant button that just takes you to the My Bar page, which is the main feature of the website or of the app. So on the left side here we have all these categories and just these are like the uh, I looked up like bar essentials and I just listed the, the main ones that I saw, the common ones that I saw. There are a couple things missing like maybe cognac or uh, stuff like that, champagne maybe. So um, those, if that's in a recipe it doesn't count against what is filtered in here. But anyway, these basically you select them. Let's say we want to, uh, so let's say we have bourbon, we have sweet vermouth, and bitters uh, in our home bar and that's it like I say we're just starting out which is pretty much exactly what I have in my house so uh, we can click what can I make and it will make a fetch request and then it will pull up all of the recipes that use pretty much only these uh, bar essentials that you selected as you'll see when a couple of these will have some things that are listed uh, as, res as the ingredients but they won't be other bar essentials so we have sweet vermouth here, and we we didn't have wine, and uh, slow gin. I I think uh, this isn't getting caught because slow gin isn't like registering as just gin. So if we go back, we can either go back and it's all still loaded here, or we could have pressed this again and it would have taken us to the same exact state. Um, but let's see. Uh, as you notice, when we click on one of these, it gets rendered dynamically. Uh, the route changes. The route is. Well, it goes to slash drinks slash drink ID, which is like restful routing. So let's click on another one. Let's go to uh, this one. Uh, I don't know how to say that. I'm not going to try. So we have this all gets rendered uh, dynamically as well. This is a um, container. Actually, I think it's a component of the uh, the React components. And let's see here. So we have just all the ingredients listed, all of the um, the categories and the instructions. And these are just filled out using the, um, the the data that's received from the API. Um, okay, so that's the main field. Uh, you can click on a bunch more, and it'll just populate more. So as you see, there's only a few here. I think, uh, was that eight? No, 10, sorry. Um, and then if we click this, it, it does another fetch request, and it loads up uh, more, more uh, recipes that you can come up with or that you can uh, make right away so that's that you also have the ability to it will quickly reset your bar so click on that and everything uh, gets deselected here and um, the the recipes at your disposal are also emptied out so that is the main feature of the app if we go to feeling adventurous we have this page where basically it has this button and it just links or it, it generates or it, it fetches a random uh, drink in the database. Uh, this has nothing to do with your what you have already selected in your bar or anything. It's just any any other drink in the database. So as you click this, this keeps fetching and getting another random drink. Um, if we, I don't know if this will look right, but if we, yeah, so each one gets a fetch request, as you see there. And that's all the fetch requests are done with uh, Redux Thunk. And let's see here. 
So all these are also uh, generate, generated dynamically. Nothing changes here. Not, the thing doesn't load or anything as you do that. And that's the main uh, feature of this uh, part. And then the last part is the drinks index, which shows all the recipes in the database. And these are loaded with just um, like plain text cards. So this take this makes a giant um, fetch request to the database, where basically it just catches all the data in the database, and it takes a while to load because there's two, like 250 or so drinks in the database. So as you can see, there's a fetch request, and we have all of these drinks. So it actually only goes the database only goes up to a certain letter G. Um, otherwise, it would have been a lot more. But as you click um, any of these, it takes you to the show page of that drink. So let's just choose uh, a random one. Let's go down here. Blue Margarita. Perfect. Um, yeah, so it takes you to the show page again. It does the restful routing. So uh, it has the, the resource, which is drinks, and, or the collection, I guess, which is drinks. And then it has the uh, collection ID, or the, the resource ID, I guess, uh, which is 144. And you can go back, and it will do, it will do another fetch request. And you can go here, do another drink, and go to my bar, and select stuff. So I think uh, it also show if you have stuff selected, um, and you go here, you should still have the same things selected here. There you go. So yeah, that is the uh, the demo. The demo of the app. Uh, it was fun learning React. It was fun making it. Um, oh, I also I used uh, Material Materialize CSS framework to add some styling to the app. For, I don't think I mentioned that yet. Um, but yeah, it was fun learning React. It was fun implementing it and uh, just like seeing how the containers and the components fit together and how they're really like building blocks to make the app quickly. Like once you get into it, they become very reusable. Um, and it was cool going. Uh, implementing Redux on top of React and uh, having the store and that single sort of like stream of state management. Um, yeah, and it was it was cool. It was cool learning it, and I'm looking forward to using it again in some personal projects that I have in mind. Uh, I'll actually be using my own app here uh, for making uh, drinks in my house. I've been trying to learn how to make drinks, and this is actually going to be a really useful resource for me. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons why I chose it because I would actually use it. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that was useful. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.